The long-awaited iPad Mini 7 has finally arrived. Apple quietly dropped a press release, unveiling this next-gen device much to the anticipation of its fan base. However, early reactions seem divided, with many voicing concerns over what appears to be an incremental upgrade. In this article, we'll dive deep into the features of the iPad Mini 7, break down what's new, and see if it truly deserves a place in your tech arsenal. A nostalgic love for the iPad Mini. First things first, let's address why the iPad Mini holds such a special place in the hearts of tech enthusiasts. It's been a true tablet, without trying to cross over into laptop territory. As one of the last pure tablets in Apple's lineup, the iPad Mini isn't a hybrid, and that simplicity is its strength. In a world where tablets are getting closer to becoming two-in-one devices, the iPad Mini proudly remains what it was always meant to be. A tablet, no strings attached? What's new in the iPad Mini 7? So, what exactly is different with the iPad Mini 7 compared to its predecessor? On the surface, it might look like a minor update, but when you dig deeper, there's more to it than meets the eye. 1. Chip Upgrade A jump to A17 Pro One of the most significant changes is the leap in processing power. Apple has bumped the chip from the A15 Bionic to the A17 Pro, skipping an entire generation. The A17 Pro chip is based on 3 nanometers technology, which means better performance and power efficiency. This chip opens up the potential for more demanding tasks, such as mobile gaming and creative applications to run smoothly on the device. 2. 8GB of RAM, a significant boost. Apple has also doubled the RAM from 4GB to 8GB. This might not seem like a massive deal for casual users, but for those running creative apps like Adobe Lightroom or Affinity Photo, this extra memory is a game changer. More RAM means smoother multitasking and the ability to handle more complex projects without the system lagging. If you're someone who edits photos or even dabbles in video editing on the iPad Mini, this increase will definitely be noticeable. Number 3. Improved Storage Options Another welcome upgrade is the change in base storage. Gone are the days of the frustratingly low 64GB base model. Now the entry-level iPad Mini 7 starts at 128GB, which should be more than sufficient for most users. For power users, there's also a new 512GB option. This addresses one of the biggest criticisms of the iPad Mini 6, where users had to jump from 64GB to 256GB by paying a hefty premium. USB-C Port Upgrade Apple has also upgraded the USB-C port, offering speeds of up to 10 gigabit per seating, which is double the speed of the previous model. This improvement is particularly useful for transferring large files, whether you're moving a video project or a photo library. It also brings the Mini in line with Apple's other devices in terms of connectivity. 5. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 in terms of wireless connectivity, the iPad Mini 7 supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, making it future-proof for faster wireless speeds and better Bluetooth reliability. This means you'll be able to enjoy faster internet connections if your network supports it, and better connections with Bluetooth accessories like the Apple Pencil Pro. The elephant in the room, the display. While Apple has made significant improvements in many areas, there is one aspect of the iPad Mini 7 that has left users disappointed. The display. Apple has chosen to stick with the same 8.3-inch 60Hz liquid retina display. This is especially frustrating for users who are hoping for a 120Hz ProMotion display, which would have made for smoother scrolling and better responsiveness, especially when using the Apple Pencil. Moreover, Apple claims to have resolved the infamous jelly scroll issue that plagued the iPad Mini 6. However, it remains to be seen whether the issue has truly been fixed. This problem, which caused a noticeable delay when scrolling text or images, made the device almost unusable for some users. Hopefully Apple's claims will hold true with this new iteration. The Apple Pencil Pro A Game Changer for Creatives one of the more exciting additions is the iPad Mini 7's compatibility with the Apple Pencil Pro. This stylus comes with a range of new features, including haptic feedback, barrel rolls, and the ability to squeeze the pencil to bring up menus. For artists, designers, and creatives, these features could be game-changing, allowing for more intuitive and precise interactions. The hover functionality, which allows the pencil to detect proximity before touching the screen, adds a layer of control for tasks like sketching and annotating. 
combined with the improved RAM and chip, the iPad Mini 7 becomes a much more appealing device for creatives, even though it lacks the 120Hz display. The verdict. Is it worth the upgrade? Now that we've gone through the features, the question remains, is the iPad Mini 7 worth upgrading to? For casual users, the iPad Mini 7 might not seem like a massive leap. The device's core functionality remains the same, and if you already own the iPad Mini 6, you might not feel compelled to rush out and buy the latest model. That said, the improvements in performance, storage, and connectivity do make the iPad Mini 7 a much more future-proof device. For power users and creatives, the new features like 8GB of RAM, the A17 Pro chip, and Apple Pencil Pro compatibility are substantial upgrades. The added storage options and improved USB-C speeds also cater to those who use the Mini for more than just web browsing and media consumption. However, the decision not to include a 120Hz ProMotion display and the uncertainty around the jelly scroll issue are disappointing. Apple seems to have focused on performance rather than the visual experience, which may leave some users feeling that the iPad Mini 7 is a no.